and oh my god look at this So, I just got myself a new toy and I figured why not share the entire experience with you guys. This is the ZWO ASI 2600mm Pro and it's my first ever astrophotography camera and the forecast says that it's time to test it. So, let's go find the target, set everything up and go photograph something from my Borel 8.7 area and see how this bad boy performs. Now, as I already mentioned, I do have a limited view from my balcony, but I have set up Stellarium exactly the way I want it to show me a reasonable simulation on what my sky looks like from my, my balcony here. So what you see here is the night sky from my balcony and you can see when we pass through the time here that I don't have much time to photograph something. I don't have many hours, uh, but I do see, however, that Perseus, this constellation here, seems to be uh, on a good position during a few hours at least. So the target in this constellation will probably give me the most amount of exposure time for this test shot that I'm planning. And the red square that you can see here is the field of view for my setup right now. I have the TS Optics clips. Uh, there we go. Um, I have the I had the I had the wrong selection telescope. I, I had the wrong telescope selected here. So uh, this is the telescope, the TS Optics with the reducer together with the ZWO 2600mm. So this red square is simulating approximately what kind of target I can photograph and what my framing will be. Um, as you can see here, for instance, is the California Nebula and it's a bit too big for this framing. I would like to have something a little bit smaller so I can drizzle and crop a little bit. So uh, looking at Perseus here, uh, one thing that caught, catches my eye is of course this small red blob here uh, and it's the Fossil Footprint Nebula and this looks just like the kind of target that I'm looking at. It is an H2 region which is hydrogen so it's going to be perfect for my narrowband images and I'm also digging this kind of Eye of Sauron look that this one has. So this will be my test target for this uh, first experience with the 2600mm that we are experiencing together. Um, so hopefully I'm going to get something good out of this uh, test, uh, but uh, we'll see about that. Okay, so I am all set up for this night session. I got the uh, TS Optics 800 millimeters, my telescope that I have, together with the 0.79 reducer, making this right now a 632 millimeter f5.6 telescope. And attached to this is, of course, my brand new ZWO ASI 2600mm Pro together with the ZWO 2 inch 7 position filter wheel attached to it. I have no idea what to expect tonight. I mean, this is the first time I'm trying this and I am super excited to see what kind of results I'm gonna get from my Borel 8.7 area, which is the, one of the brightest locations in the entire Northern Europe. And uh, yeah, hopefully I get something good out of this or I maybe have done something insane buying all of this gear. But I am pretty hopeful that this is going to help my astrophotography a lot. So the forecasts for the following nights are clear. So I have like two or three 
nights on me to get the HSO data that I want for this target. And uh, hopefully together with this focal length, it's going to be a great framing and together with a new camera, I'm going to get a great image. Probably one of the best images that I have ever taken uh, because this is entirely new gear specialized in astrophotography. I have used Canon lenses and Canon DSLRs previously and this is something else. I think this is going to take the photography to a whole new level and I'm super excited to see what's coming up. So just to talk a little about the gear, uh, as I already mentioned, attached at the end is the ZWO 2600mm Pro. It's a monochrome camera so the performance of the amount of photons that I am registering right now is optimum together with the ZWO 7 position 2 inch filter wheel. I have the Optolongs 3 nanometers HSO filters inside of this one and uh, I of course have a reducer, uh, the ZWO electronic focuser the EAF, the Electronic Automatic Focuser, or whatever it's called. I have the 120mm Mini uh, attached to the SV Boney 30mm guide scope. And then, of course, my trusted Big Bertha here, the TS Optics 800. Everything is attached on the ZWO AM5 and the Inrel RT 90C tripod, which suits my needs here out on the balcony perfectly. Uh, you see this uh, big bag here as well, uh, and inside of that is my battery packs, the batteries that will uh, drive the entire night session. And uh, yeah, I think uh, we're good to go for this night. Well, good morning. It is now the day after the first session. I still have a lot of sessions to do before I have a finished image, but I just couldn't wait to see the first subs and I saved them for this morning uh, so I can share the experience together with you. I am really excited to see how the 2600mm uh, delivers. I have no idea what to expect. I think I know how it's gonna look, but let's see and have a look at how these uh, these subs look like. And oh my God, look at this. I mean, the amount of detail I have in these images, this is amazing. I am going to get such a good image out of this. And I, I, I didn't know that this was possible. Oh my God. So I did get a few good hours on every filter. I think roughly five hours hydrogen, five hours sulfur and five hours uh, oxygen, uh, giving me enough data to create this image. And I am really pleased with this photograph. This is most likely the best photograph that I have ever taken in my entire astrophotography career. So I do hope you like and enjoy this image. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps. And if you want to see more of my content, more of my astrophotography journey, don't forget to subscribe. And of course, feedback thoughts are always highly welcome in the comments section. But for now, Enjoy this image of the fossil footprint nebula in HSO taken from my Boro 8.7 area with my new ASI 2600mm camera. And I'll see you next time. All right, bye, 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 bye.